Why can't Franklin read quietly in a corner like I did as a child? Careless. Not a single thought to where an accident might leave us. Well, Dr. Wortham prescribed a plasmid. A mother's little helper to keep me sharp. Oh, I've had my misgivings, but... I let my guard down for a second. That boy may get himself killed. I had all of these visions before coming down here of Utopia. Every man with his hand on the great chain, the wheel of progress turning. Every cliche you can imagine. And what is the first thing that happens when I open up shop? Petty thievery. Now I have to lock all my valuables in the closet. Remember 2076. It's the problem with coming to Utopia, is that it still has the people. All I could think was, there are millions of bacteria in each drop of saliva. Did he, did he brush his teeth? What if, what if he touched a doorknob and then put his fingers to his lips? Waited weeks for that kiss. And uh, ruined. Frank Fontaine called me in the other day. Me, Ray Larden. Says trouble's coming and he's passing out special plasmids to all his best guys. I mean, it, it's an honor, but man, I started getting these shingles all over. Skin's discolored. Like when a guy's about to lose a limb, you know? And I can't seem to pile on enough clothes. I hate to ask, but... Is this happening to everybody? Observation number 17. Regarding unknown phenomena. Phenomena presents is... Odd shimmer. Through which is observed... What? Men in strange hats. Women in large dresses. Buildings that float. Is phenomena window to other space? Other time? What was it Einstein said? The only reason for time is so not everything happen at once. Observation number 22. Regarding unknown phenomena. What is a source of phenomena? Su Chong employ observers. Observer task to find more phenomena. Observer reports back. Young woman appear from phenomena. And just as soon, young woman disappear. Observer has nothing else to report on topic. If Su Chang can find this woman, she will make interesting new phenomena. When Ryan take over Fontaine Futuristics, sin of a terrible violence, splices burning each other to bits, lucky ones not killed, sent to department to store prison instead. Suchan think he dead man too. But then Ryan comes to Suchang and says, Suchang want to be buried in filthy store or Suchang want to make a good salary? Work for Ryan. How much salary? asks Suchang. This Ryan find very funny. Suchang observe strangest of coincidences. On other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Su Chung's own creation. On plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage! Death of intellectual property! Hmm. But man name of Fink is no fool. Through addition of oxidizing agent, turns plasmid ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of intellectual property. Two-way street.
It used to be such a thrill to hear Ryan speak. Parasite, this. And the exaltation of man, that. Sure, it could all get a bit of a bore. But the old bear sure knew how to enunciate. Oh, you're not gonna outlawyer me on this one, Ryan. You knowingly promoted Old Man Winter with the implication it produced ice, not dry ice. The ice sculpture we commissioned for this year's gala at the Cashmere stands where we left it a month later. All 2,500 pounds of it. And who's still footing the room rental? Oh, not you, you son of a bitch. of the future, huh? Yeah, the kid got hold of that damn radar range last night. Started trying it out on everything. Apples, marshmallows, spoons. Had himself a fine time until our peak at ease stepped in the way. And for some reason, I'm the one in touch with the wife. Well, I locked the damn thing up. Oh, uh... So don't forget the code, it's 3958. Ryan, you bastard. Left me here to rot. Sure, I signed the contract. Helped turn Fontaine's into a prison. Ten days, big rush, everything slapped at. Right before the prisoners are brought in. One of your piece of shit turrets. Bam! Both kneecaps. Now I'm likely a cripple locked in a jail, surrounded by maniacs. I haven't even been paid, but I don't care. Just get me out of here! I keep dropping audio diaries in the pneumo tubes, like a message in a goddamn bottle. Hoping one will get through and someone will save me. If you get this, send help. I'm holed up in the shoe storeroom. The code's 0928. Ryan's been good to me. Few are the patrons who truly understand the struggle of the artist. But even I was a little leery when he shuttered Fontaine's business and sent that bald buck to a grave deep in the briny. But when Ryan buried all of Fontaine's pals in that department store, someone had to find a home for all those freshly minted orphans. And if I turned a dollar or two in the process, you can hardly blame me for doing well by doing good. Of my first play, the Herald said, a dead whale has washed up at the Schubert Theater and stinks a little more with each passing night. <laughs> The Tribune called my first opera as having the effect of cancelling out all of Mozart's classics in a single caterwaul. And now, critics take me to task for my humanitarian work. If I were not there to find a home for these orphans, would these belly acres take my place? An artist once said, All critics should be assassinated. I just might take him up on that. You thought the whole ice sculpture fiasco was just gonna bounce off you, didn't you, Ryan? Well, you ain't made of rubber. You got your circus of values selling your goods, security devices protecting your property. You think you own them. But you don't. I'm learning how to turn your creations against you. I promise you one thing. Machine gun bullets don't bounce. Heartless. That's what this town is. All my audio diaries begging for rescue came back on red, marked Return to sender, insufficient postage. 